It is the year 1999, 16 days before the new year. We see an individual trying to enter a building through a window. He or she uses advanced technology to enter without being observed. The individual deactivates the alarm connected to the artwork and steals it. After putting it in a package and throwing it in the mailbox, the artwork is sent to Malaysia. The next day in Malaysia, the recipient, Conrad Green, receives a phone call and is informed that the artwork should arrive in the mail. On the same day, the Waverly Insurance Company works to find who stole the artwork. Virginia Baker is a pretty young insurance company investigator. She suspects that Mac did it. Robert McDougall, nicknamed Mac, is an imposing looking older man with a passion for artwork, known in criminal circles as an exceptional thief on an international scale. Virginia asks her superior for permission to go to London and investigate Mac. They plan to use an ancient Chinese gold mask as bait. Once in London, Virginia follows Mac to a shopping mall. After a few hours, everyone comes out after the security alarm sounds. Virginia notices how Mac walks away from the building. That night, Mac sneaks into Virginia's hotel room. Mac is so good at his job that he has already realized that Virginia was stalking him. Virginia tells him she wants to cooperate with him to steal the ancient Chinese gold mask. In addition, she tells him that she has already found a buyer ready to pay $50 million for the object. Mac says he does not trust her, but he asks her to meet him tomorrow morning at the hotel. The next day, Mac wants to test her thieving skills and asks her to steal a $200,000 vase. Virginia goes inside and asks for the vase, saying that Mac sent her here. She checks the vase and sees that it's fake, and the seller realizes that something is going on. He puts the knife to threaten her, and she smashes the vase over his head. She finds a video reel on the floor and gets back in the car. When she asks what is on the reel, Mac reveals to her that it is the floor, alarms, and video cameras of a building he intends to rob. Later, he takes her to the top floor of the hotel building. Mac reveals to her that he has hidden a $2 million chip in her purse. The chip was stolen, and he hid the bag in the hotel security guard's office. In addition, he shows her photos of her stalking him. Virginia realizes that she's trapped and can do nothing but follow him. A few hours later, they arrive at Mac's castle. After the little test earlier, Mac agrees to cooperate. He gives her a tour of the house and shows her her room. Before leaving, Mac tells her that there must be nothing personal between them. The next day, the two analyze the building floor where the Chinese gold mask is located. Mac tells her he intends to steal it himself and give her 10% of the money. Virginia refuses and Mac decides to send her back to London. At that point, Virginia reveals that she was the one who stole the Rembrandt painting that night. After that, Mac shows her the painting, which he stole from the mail the same night. The next day, Aaron Thibodeau, apparently the only ally Mac trusts, arrives with supplies for the heist. Meanwhile, Virginia is training in the water. She must swim two hours a day to prepare for the theft. Later, they even check how loud the explosion will be. In addition, Mac trains Virginia to face an obstacle course made of a network of laser defense alarms. Initially, everything is complicated, but with practice, Virginia manages to get past the obstacles with her eyes tied. However, Mac always finds something wrong and Virginia gets angry. On Christmas Day, Mac gives Virginia a beautiful dress. She feels compelled to do the same and goes out to find something to give him. Virginia stops to phone her superior and update him on the situation. Virginia reveals to him that she has gathered enough information to lock him behind bars. All this time, Mac hears the phone call from his castle. When Virginia returns that evening, she finds a note that Mac left on the bottle. When she goes upstairs, Mac surprises her from behind, but he says nothing about the phone call. In fact, he tells her that they must leave in a couple of hours. Mac is waiting for her in a fancy costume and sees her arrive in the dress he gave her. They go to the Bedford Palace to the Chinese Gold Mass exhibition. This is the big night of the heist. They have planned everything, even the precise steps to take so as not to attract unwanted attention. At the end of the exhibition, they move on to the second stage. They go under the bridge to enter a tunnel under the water. Soon after, they arrive in a basement. They find the location of the mask, thanks to the position tracker installed earlier. They take out their tools and begin their work while the security guard suspects nothing. At 12 a.m. sharp, the bell starts ringing 12 times. In a synchronized manner, 
they detonate four bombs and create a hole in the floor. In this way, the security guard does not hear anything except the bell. Mac installs the device to detect the laser defense alarm network. Virginia does her part, entering inside and gracefully stepping over the laser defense. In less than three minutes, she manages to steal the golden mask, replacing it with one of a monkey. When they are about to escape, Mac grabs the mask and holds Virginia by the hair. He reveals to her that he knows about her entrapment plan, but she tells him that she needs him for something else, an even bigger heist, one that would bring Mac a billion dollars. Mac believes her again this time, and they travel to Malaysia two days before New Year's Eve. Days later, as they arrive at their hotel, Virginia tells him that they are going to hit a bank. Banks have never been among Mac's main choices. He prefers art, but a billion dollars is still a billion dollars. The bank is located in a tall building in Malaysia. The bank manager is Lee Kuan Hong. To get into the system, they need a code and a drawing of his eye orbit. Virginia will be able to get the code and the model of the eye orbit thanks to Green's men. In two days, on the eve of the new year, the specialists plan to do some security tests. When it is 30 seconds to 12 a.m. sharp, the systems are shut down. Virginia plans to activate the systems in 10 seconds to introduce a program that will transfer $8 billion into her bank account. Virginia created that program while using her own job at the insurance company as a cover. Mac is surprised. His share is only $1 billion. So he proposes to act in two weeks to prepare properly. Virginia insists that they act tomorrow themselves, but Mac disagrees. At this point, she proposes to divide the earnings equally, and Mac agrees. Mac begins to investigate the building, security, security guards, and so on. Meanwhile, Virginia goes to Green's to receive the necessary equipment, goggles with the bank manager's retinal imprint, and access keys. Virginia hands over the mask, but it turns out to be a fake. Virginia realizes that Mac has replaced and stolen it. In the meantime, Mac wants to hand the mask to Aaron and tell him that he cancels her mission, but the latter disagrees. Mac returns to Virginia, and she, in a fit of rage, lashes out at Mac. But after calming down a bit, she forgives him. Virginia kisses Mac, even though she knows it goes against the rules. She is a true beauty, while Mac is undoubtedly a classy, intelligent, cunning, and seductive thief. Virginia proves again that intelligence and beauty are a combination that no man can resist, even one as sophisticated and experienced as Mac. Nevertheless, Mac merely embraces her. But all this time, Aaron is stalking them and taking pictures. During the preparation, Cruz and his team track down Virginia and ask for updates. She confirms that she's still on a mission to bring Mac to them. After that, we see Aaron actually collaborating with Cruz. That evening, they go into action. Mac sneaks into the building dressed as a worker and tampers with the necessary cameras. After that, he meets with Virginia in the elevator. Then. We see that Cruz, along with the security director, observes the couple. At one point, Mac stops the elevator camera, leading them to believe that they got out of there. They actually go to the computer room, where Virginia enters her program when the system is shut down. In less than 30 seconds, she manages to transfer $8 billion into her bank account. Virginia prematurely unplugs her laptop and sets off the alarm. The two narrowly escape from the computer vault and are forced to cross the lights hanging from the base of the bridge, connecting the two towers. After a life-threatening moment, when the cable breaks, Virginia and Mac make their way to a ventilation shaft. Max explains Plan B to her. Using many parachutes, they would escape down the shaft. Virginia had lost her parachute during the escape, so Mac gave her his. He tells her to meet him the next morning at the Pudu train station. Jin arrives at the station expecting Mac. He shows up late with Aaron Thibodeau, who introduces himself as an FBI agent. Two years earlier, when Agent Thibodeau captured and arrested Mac, he made a deal with him to help the FBI arrest Virginia. In fact, she was always the primary target. However, the elderly thief has another plan. He wants to help her escape. Mac hands Virginia a gun, a new passport, and travel documents. He quietly explains that he has only returned seven of the $8 billion they had stolen electronically during the robbery. Virginia then pretends to hold Mac hostage, threatening to shoot him if agents follow her. She boards a train and the FBI heads to the next station. 
Then, Matt gives Aaron four super chips, worth a total of $20 million, and the latter leaves. Soon after, Virginia jumps the train halfway through the station and returns to Pudu. She tells Mac that she needs him for another job, so they both board a train, and for them, the story continues. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.